Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. It has been a hot minute since I've actually filmed a video, but I'm so thankful for the people that have stuck with me, maintained their subscription to my channel, and I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate all the text messages and everything. It's just been very, very hectic for me. Kind of a crazy time of year. My son got married during these past two months and just so much has been going on plus today of course is mother's day i'm gonna try to get it up today and i just wanted to kind of focus on some perfumes today i am gonna i think what i'm gonna do with my channel is incorporate fragrances as well and if you like that particular um you know area of beauty let me know in the comments down below if you love fragrances and like maybe what some of your favorite fragrances are but today is a haul of fragrances that I went shopping yesterday and I picked up some fragrances in Houston actually and so um, I thought I would share those with you as well as a few that you know were gifts from Mother's Day and everything so let's go ahead and jump right into the video and go over these fragrances okay i'm going to go over the fragrances and i have my ipad so i'm going to have um, some little cheat sheets on here that just basically tells me the notes the first thing that i actually got is this versace dylan blue and this is actually the pour femme eau de parfum and this is the big one this is the 3.4 ounce this one like you can really really smell it from a distance um, it is more of your stronger scents but it smells gorgeous the fragrance notes is top top notes is black currant granny smith clover arc arc the middle note is rose icy infusion of peach and jasmine and the base note is and i hope i'm saying this right is styrax then white smooth woods musk and patchouli when i hear black currant patchouli i do love musk as well those are just some of my favorite notes in a perfume so i kind of think automatically i'm gonna like it now that's not the case like i said perfumes are different you have to go and try these and test these out for yourself but i hope that you will come to what i want to say like if i say that it's a really good perfume and it smells great you're going to trust me and you're going to be like jody said it was great so i know it's going to smell good i hope that's what kind of a relationship we're going to end up having here this one is really gorgeous on and I highly, highly recommend this one. But like I said, this is not subtle. You put it on, I mean, just like one spray. You put it on and you definitely can, can smell this coming. So that you just take the top off like this. And this is the atomizer here, the little sprayer. But I just love the detail on this. And the top has the same little emblem here. The Versace logo and it just and it's a good sprayer because you know some of them just shoot out this one just has a fine <laughs> it smells so good now when I did spray this initially the first thing that my husband said was I smell apple he said he smelled apple something fruity I think is what he hit on it smells so good highly recommend this Okay, my second fragrance is going to be, it's now, I hope that I'm saying this correctly, Bulgari. It's B-V-L-G-A-R-I, Bulgari. <laughs> and this is the actual perfume itself, and it's kind of unique. If you've seen these before, they, they're, I mean, this is like their trademark look for their, for their perfume bottles. But you, and you spritz it like this. You, this top part, you just spritz it like that. Oh my goodness. And it's actually what I'm wearing today. It's what I wore and as, you know, people were just like, it smells so good. Let me see. This one is the 2.2 .2 fluid ounce. 
and it is the, I think it's the Eau de Toilette. Yes, it's the Eau de Toilette. It smells amazing. Let me tell you the notes. Okay, the notes are top uh, goji berries, sparkling citrus allure. In the middle notes are what they call the heart of the fragrance, hibiscus flower, fresh floral fruity scent, and pomegranate sweet tart aroma. And now this one is called the Omnia or Omnia Coral Eau de Toilette. So this is the Volgari Omnia Coral Eau de Toilette. Highly, highly recommend this and it is it smells amazing and it lasts all day on me. In fact, I sprayed this yesterday because I got this one in Houston. I sprayed it yesterday on the top of my hand and I could still smell it like last night when I got home. So definitely recommend this fragrance. Okay, now I turned off my ring light because I am filming up here in my bedroom and it gets so stifling hot. I do have the air on, but it still gets so, so hot with these lights. So in here in Texas, it's like 93 degrees right now. <laughs> so it's very hot. So I hope this is okay. Um, the next perfume is going to be by Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto has like fashion, you know, purses, shoes, and also perfume. Now the one that I've got the description off of, this is off of the Ulta website. I actually picked it up. I have quite a few fragrances here today. So I actually picked it up and I still have it in the box. This is the 1.0 fluid ounce and this is the Amore by Vince Camuto. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the fragrance and then I'm going to open it up and show you the bottle. It's so pretty. Opening notes are sweet and juicy fruity notes of passion fruit, bergamot, frozen clementines with current buds combined with natural scent of freshly picked flowers of freesia, orchid, lotus, wild lily of the valley. The floral fruity blend in the base is warmed by comfortable cashmere, sensual crystal amber, musk, and sandalwood, leaving a warm, creamy trail on the skin. Okay, how perfect was that description? I do have some larger ones, uh, different scents of this Vince Camuto, but they all have this kind of decoration or decorative top with a little ribbon, and then it has this little medallion with the Vince Camuto kind of design on it. And then it'll have it on the front, you know, the name of the fragrance and everything. So it just really, really cute packaging. And that's another thing about, about um, fragrances is the packaging. Sometimes you get caught up in like, oh, that bottle's so gorgeous. But I always want to make sure that it smells good. It's something that you like because you get it home. You're not going to wear it. That's just wasting your money. Oh, my goodness. This smells amazing fruity floral just a hint of sweetness but it's more fresh and florally fruity it would be great I think for the spring and the summertime I mean you could wear this all year round but I really think with the fruitiness and the floral of it all is very fresh you know summery uh, yeah but it also is kind of sexy and feminine. This one's definitely fruity, floral, just a hint of sweetness, and I definitely think you will like this one. Okay, the next perfume we're going to be talking about is Candy Eau de Parfum, and it's by Prada, and uh, my co-worker actually, we also subscribe to Scentbird, which is a whole video of its own, but it's a monthly subscription of fragrances, and she actually got this one and she said it was really good. I sampled it and so I went ahead and picked up the full version and this is the 1.7 fluid ounce. Top notes, seductive, joyful, carefreeness, explosion of caramel. And the heart of the fragrance is gonna be powdery, sophistication, cocktail of musks. The base is vanilla, sensuality, and then bejoin, bejoin? overdose. This is the bottle here and you take this little tab off here. It's got Prada on the front of this and you can see that. Um, and then you have the Prada on the front. So it's really, it's a really pretty bottle. 
And I think I'm going to start, since I sample so much, I'm going to start getting the little um, tester strips. So that way I'm not having to put it on my skin constantly. Oh my goodness, you smell that caramel right off the bat. So if you do like something sweet, this would definitely be something to get. It's not like super sweet, like knock you down sweet. But oh my goodness, and you can smell a little bit of the floral. It's gorgeous. I would definitely wear this probably, um, you know, if I was going to go out or something. I definitely think it's more of a fun fragrance. So, although my husband loves sweet scents, so I could wear this anytime. Okay, the next fragrance is going to be by Escada, and this is my first Escada perfume. This one is a limited edition. I do believe I got this one at FragranceNet, and it's called Cherry in the Air. And one of the YouTubers that I watched, she highly recommended this, and she said that it was a really, you know, if you love cherries, fruity uh, scents, she said then this would be something that you would absolutely love. And let's see, the notes are raspberry, sour cherry, mandarin orange, marshmallow, gardenia now some people like to keep their boxes but i don't i just don't have room for all the boxes oh my god this smells amazing look how cute this is look i just opened it up i'm not even showing you the bottle but it has a scotta it has a little bitty like ribbon and it has little cherries on it if you can see that how cute is that and it smells like a cherry soda? <laughs> yeah, let's try this. Oh my god. Oh. I would definitely I wear this anytime. It's sweet, fruity. This is right up my alley, so I'll probably wear this. Um, I'll wear this to work and see what kind of what kind of compliments will I get for this particular fragrance? Because it smells good, not offensive at all. It's fresh, but like I said, it's kind of sweet and fruity. So it's definitely one of my fragrances. I love fruity, sweet, I love dripping sweet fragrances. So this, I can't wait to wear this and see how everybody responds to it. Okay, the next fragrance is going to be by Katy Perry, and it's the Meow fragrance. And Shanaxo, Shanaxo, she actually did like her sweetest perfumes in her collection. And I fell in love with this bottle, I'm just going to tell you. I thought it was so cute. This is it right here. And then she described the notes and about you know about the perfume and then what it smelled like and so i thought this would probably be one that i would adore and it's a less expensive fragrance i want to say i paid like 14 dollars for it just take the lid off like that oh my goodness this smells amazing Totally, it's sweet. Spray it on my hand. And you want to give it time to kind of get on your skin. Oh my goodness, it's sweet. And it has a little bit of fruitiness to it. A little bit of powderiness, but let me, let me go over the notes with you. Okay, so the top notes are tangerine, pear, gardenia, and jasmine. And you have to be very careful with gardenia. If you love gardenia, that's great. But sometimes I'll get things that are, you know, have gardenia in it, and it's just overpowering, and it gives me a headache. So I have to be care careful of that. Honeysuckle, okay, the middle notes are heart notes. Honeysuckle, lily of the valley, and orange blossom. And the base notes are vanilla, musk, amber, and sandalwood. And I definitely, I can smell the vanilla, the jasmine, lily of the valley, I can definitely smell the musk. It's coming into play now. And maybe even the sandalwood. All those notes are just so good in a perfume. But it has to be the way that they put them together. So not like every... I'm oh, sorry, my top keeps falling down here. Not every 
fragrance that have those notes in it are actually going to be good. So you have to really test it out. But this is something, and it's very light, inoffensive, sweet. It's something I think that's very girly, girly. So I definitely like that one. So the next fragrance is Mon Guerlain Floral. And I have the Mon Guerlain. Now this is all by Guerlain, of course. But I have the Mon Guerlain Eau de Parfum Floral. Or Floral. F-L-O-R-A-L-E. I love Mon Guerlain. If you've seen my previous videos, that's one of my all-time favorite perfumes. So let me tell you about the notes and then I'm going to show you the packaging. Top notes, bergamot, lavender, heart notes, sambuc, jasmine, peony, paradisome, ylang ylang. Ylang ylang is absolutely, smells amazing. Base notes, iris, vanilla, and sandalwood. So, let me just go ahead and show you. And it looks just like my Mongerlan, but it has rose gold, like little, um, embellishments on it so this is the box here I actually wore this yesterday when we went uh, to Houston but this is the bottle here and see it has the more of the rose gold little embellishment on it the other one has uh, just gold I don't know which one is my favorite. I don't know if just the Mongolan or this one. This one is more definitely more floral, but they smell similar. It's just this has more of a floral scent to it. And oh my goodness, this is good for all year long, daytime, nighttime. It's just very feminine and beautiful. Like when you wear this fragrance, people are like, You smell so beautiful. What are you wearing? And it's just, it's, it's, it's just, it screams high class. That's what I want to say. It just screams high class to me. And just something that a beautiful woman, desirable woman would wear. So I definitely recommend this perfume. Because, like I said, I wore this yesterday. And it just it smelled amazing. It lasted all day on me. And I just loved it. And I don't think very many. I think Sephora, maybe Macy's. Maybe Neiman Marcus, I'm not sure. But all a few of the stores I see that are carrying this. But I think as they get, you know, the release is not so new, then more of the websites will have these available. So definitely check this one out. And they have like the smaller bottles. This is the, the biggest one. This is the 3.3 fluid ounce EDP. Okay, so I have my last fragrance and this is by the Nest Fragrances, which have been out for several years and I didn't even know that. I thought this was something that was new, but I got this one. It's the Black Tulip and this one smells so good. So, so good. And it's not like the Tom Ford Black Orchid. I was thinking, I wonder if it's going to kind of smell, you know, along the lines of that. But it doesn't. This just smells so good. I have to, I have to spritz this one right here. My arm. Mm, this one smells so rich. It's definitely sweet. Sweet and florally. I love this packaging. Here's the bottle. And they have different perfumes. Like they have a, I think they have a Dahlia. They have like different ones. You're just going to have to Google it. But it's Nest Fragrances. And I actually think I got this one at, it was either Sephora or QVC. I'm not sure. But I'm going to try to put all the fragrances in a description box down below and maybe kind of put a link to where you can purchase these I'm gonna try to do that for you so and maybe like a price point of like how much every every one of the fragrances cost so but let me get the description for you so I can go over the notes okay so let's see here black amber plum is nuanced by the aroma of patchouli pink pepper and Japanese violet that's what I'm saying this one really smells good Notes, black amber plum, pink pepper, Japanese violet, and then it says the mood is seductive. So it is, when I said it's kind of dark, kind of deep, seductive, romantic, 
It's just, it's really good. I think this would be good for, you know, a date night. It's very, it's sweet, but it definitely has the floral notes. You definitely can get all those floral notes. And I think that that Japanese violet is probably what it is. I'm not sure. Of course, they have the patchouli and pink pepper. So, yeah, I definitely would go and test this. They have these, I know for sure, at Sephora. So, you can go and test these out. And they'll give you like a little sample tester at Sephora for free. You just go and tell them which fragrance you want, and they all actually put it in a little um, tester bottle for you, so you can use it for a couple of days just to see if you like the fragrance, which I love to do that. It's hard when you're buying fragrances online and you can't smell them. I mean, you really need to try these fragrances out, see how they do on your skin, see how your chemistry works with these fragrances. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe either. I'm almost at 300. I'm so excited. I'm trying to, to build my subscribers. So, and tell your friends about my channel. Send them, you know, and if y'all have a fragrance that you want me to review, I may have it in my collection. If you want to see like a perfume collection video, I can do that. Just leave me some comments down below of some videos that you'd like to see. I hope to hear from you soon, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.